Well, look, they're they're looking at, at some of the scary things that are happening just a few states away in New York, um, and I understand that. And so, and we know we don't have a vaccine, we don't have medicines for this. Um, we know we can surge our capacity, but there are limitations to all of that, to supplies, to ventilators, to, to, to people resources. Um, so we know on the front end, taking these aggressive steps to limit the gatherings and limit um, people interacting is the way that we can prevent that curve of people getting sick from getting too high. But the question is, where where is that right point and for how long? Well, I was That's what we're ask, through. because Mecklenburg yeah. County, Durham yep. County, yep. Uh, Madison County, Pitt County, and Beaufort uh, have all issued stay home directives. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, is that the way this is going to play out? Do you think it's going to be a county by county thing or will it be a statewide decision? Yeah, so look, um, given where we are with things and the fact that we don't have as much data as we would want to guide these decisions, we support the local entities doing what they think they need to do to tailor to their local community circumstances. They're looking at their own case counts and how they're, they're, they're going up. It's not the same across every part of North Carolina. So I think tailoring to their, their local situations feels like a good first step.